As you continue to journey through life, my dear child, hold fast to the knowledge that you are not defined by the trials you face, but by the identity I have given you. You are a child of the Most High God, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. This is who you are, deeply loved, highly favored, and destined for greatness. In the days to come, challenges may arise that seek to test your faith and question your worth. The enemy may whisper lies, trying to convince you that you are not enough, that you are unworthy, or that you are alone. But hear my voice above all others. You are enough because I am with you. You are worthy because I have called you my own. You are never alone for I dwell within you. When doubts assail you, remember that I have not given you a spirit of fear but of power, love, and a sound mind. Fear has no place in your life, for my perfect love casts out all fear. In those moments when you feel uncertain or afraid, draw near to me. I will be your refuge and your fortress, your God in whom you can trust. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Know that the path I have set before you is one of purpose and meaning. Every experience, every encounter is shaping you for the plans I have for you. There is no wasted season in your life no moment that is beyond my redemption. Even in your pain and confusion, I am at work, turning all things for your good and for my glory. I encourage you, my child, to keep your eyes on the prize. The race you are running is not for the faint of heart, but you are equipped with everything you need to finish strong. My grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel like you can't go on, lean into me, and I will give you the strength to press on. Do not compare your journey to that of others. The race I have set before you is unique, tailored specifically for you. What I require of you may be different from what I ask of others, but know that I am with you every step of the way. Trust in my timing, and trust that I am leading you exactly where you need to be. Remember that you are not running this race alone. I have placed people in your life to support you, encourage you, and walk alongside you. Lean on them when you need to, and be a source of strength for them as well. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am with them. Together you are stronger, and together you will accomplish great things in my name. As you continue to seek me, let your life be a reflection of my love and grace. Be a light in the darkness, a beacon of hope for those around you. Let your words bring healing and your actions speak of my love. In a world that is often filled with pain and confusion, be a vessel of my peace and joy. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. 
Do not be discouraged by the setbacks you may face. They are not the end of your story, but merely a chapter in the greater narrative I am writing with your life. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. I am the God of restoration, and I will restore what the enemy has stolen. What was meant for harm, I will turn to good. My child, I want you to know that your prayers are powerful and effective. When you pray, heaven moves. Your prayers do not fall on deaf ears but are heard by the one who holds the universe in his hands. Continue to pray with boldness and faith, knowing that I am listening and that I am working on your behalf. Even when the answers are delayed, do not lose heart. My timing is perfect, and I am never late. Sometimes the delay is for your protection or to prepare you for what is to come. Trust that I see the bigger picture and that I am working all things together for your good. As you continue to walk with me, let your heart be filled with gratitude. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is my will for you. A heart of gratitude opens the door to my blessings and keeps you in the center of my will. Even in the midst of challenges, there is always something to be thankful for. Let your praise be continual, for I inhabit the praises of my people. I also call you to live a life of generosity. As I have blessed you, so too, I call you to be a blessing to others. Give of yourself, your time, your resources, your love, freely, just as I have given to you. There is no greater joy than to give, and in giving, you will receive even more. My child, as you move forward, keep your focus on what is eternal. The things of this world are temporary, but my kingdom is everlasting. Do not store up treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, but store up treasures in heaven, where they will last forever. Live each day with eternity in mind, knowing that your true reward is with me. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Finally, my beloved, Know that I am always with you. You are never out of my sight, never beyond my reach. I go before you to prepare the way, and I walk beside you as your constant companion. I am your rear guard, protecting you from behind. You are surrounded by my love, my grace, and my presence. Go forth with confidence, my child. You are mine, and I am yours. Walk in the fullness of my love, and let it overflow to those around you. You are a light in the darkness, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Shine brightly, for the world needs the light that I have placed within you. I bless you, my dear one with all the riches of my glory. May you walk in the fullness of life that I have for you, and may you always know that you are loved beyond measure. Amen. My dear child, as you continue on this journey, 
take heart in knowing that every step you take is part of the grand tapestry I am weaving in your life. You may not always see the full picture, but trust that each thread is carefully placed by my hand with purpose and love. In the days ahead, there will be moments when you are called to step out in faith, even when the path before you is not fully illuminated. Do not hesitate, for I am the light in your darkness, and I will guide your every step. My word is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. As you trust in me and walk by faith, you will see doors open that you never imagined possible. Opportunities will arise, and you will know that it is I who have made a way where there seemed to be no way. You are not called to walk this journey alone. I have placed people around you, those who will support you, encourage you, and lift you up in prayer. Cherish these relationships, for they are gifts from me. And just as you are blessed by others, be a blessing in return. Offer a helping hand, a listening ear, and a heart full of compassion. By doing so, you are extending my love to those in need, and you are fulfilling the command I have given you, to love one another as I have loved you. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family and help us spread my message all over the world. Amen. Do not be afraid to ask for help when you need it, my child. I have given you a community of believers to walk with you, to share your burdens, and to celebrate your victories. Lean on them, and let them lean on you. Together, you are stronger, and together, you can accomplish great things in my name. Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I with them. This is the power of unity in my body, the church. Do not underestimate the strength that comes from being connected to others who share your faith. As you continue to grow in your walk with me, I encourage you to cultivate a heart of gratitude. There is power in thanksgiving, and it unlocks the fullness of life I have for you. In every situation, give thanks, for this is my will for you. Even in the midst of challenges, there is always something to be grateful for. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, and it opens your eyes to see my hand at work in your life. Let your prayers be filled with thanksgiving, and let your heart overflow with praise. I inhabit the praises of my people, and when you worship me, my presence surrounds you. In my presence, there is fullness of joy, and at my right hand are pleasures forevermore. Worship is not just a response to my goodness. It is also a weapon against the enemy. When you lift up my name in praise, the darkness flees, and the atmosphere around you shifts. So, Worship me in spirit and in truth, and let your life be a living sacrifice of praise. I know that there are times when you feel weary, my child, 
The journey can be long and the road can be difficult. But I want you to know that I am your source of strength. When you are tired, come to me and I will give you rest. When you feel weak, know that my power is made perfect in your weakness. Do not try to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. Lay it down at my feet and let me carry it for you. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Rest is not just physical. It is spiritual and emotional as well. I call you to enter into my rest, to cease striving and to trust in me. Rest is an act of faith, a declaration that you believe I am in control and that you trust me with every aspect of your life. When you rest in me, you will find peace for your soul and renewal for your spirit. As you continue to walk in my ways, be diligent in guarding your heart. The enemy seeks to plant seeds of doubt, fear, and discouragement, but I have given you the tools to resist him. Stand firm in your faith and take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Let my word be your sword and let it dwell richly in your heart. When the enemy comes against you, speak my word with boldness, and he will flee. Remember, my child, that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. The battles you face are not yours alone, for I fight for you. Victory is assured because I have already overcome the world. Do not fear the future for I hold it in my hands. I have plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. Trust in my promises, for they are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Type yes if you trust God. A super thanks donation will bring health and joy to your family. As you move forward, keep your eyes on me. The world may try to distract you, to pull you away from my presence, but stay focused on me. Spend time in my word, let it renew your mind, and let it guide your steps. Spend time in prayer, for it is in those quiet moments with me that you will find direction, peace, and strength. Prayer is not just a monologue, it is a dialogue, a conversation with me, your Heavenly Father. I desire to speak to you, to guide you, and to reveal my heart to you. So come to me in prayer and listen for my voice. My beloved child, know that you are never alone. I am with you always even to the end of the age. My love for you is unending and nothing can separate you from it. Walk in the fullness of this love and let it overflow to those around you. You are my hands and feet on this earth and through you I will bring light to the darkness, hope to the hopeless, and healing to the broken. Go forth with confidence, knowing that you are my beloved, and I am well pleased with you. You are my child, and I delight in you. Walk in the victory that is yours, and know that I am with you every step of the way. Amen. My beloved child, as you continue to walk in the light of my presence, Know that I have not only called you to live a life of faith, but also to walk in the fullness of my purpose for you. 
Every day is an opportunity to grow closer to me, to deepen your relationship with me, and to fulfill the calling I have placed on your life. There are moments ahead that will require courage and boldness, moments when you will need to step out in faith even when the way seems uncertain. Do not be afraid, for I am with you, and I have equipped you with everything you need to succeed. Remember that I am your strength, your guide, and your protector. With me by your side, there is nothing you cannot overcome. I want you to know that your life is a testimony of my grace and love. Every trial you have endured, every victory you have won, has been a part of your story, a story that I am writing with purpose and intention. Your life is a light that shines in the darkness, a beacon of hope for those who are lost. Do not underestimate the impact you have on those around you. Your faith, your love, and your perseverance inspire others to seek me and to trust in my goodness. As you continue to walk with me, I encourage you to embrace the gifts and talents I have placed within you. You are uniquely created with abilities and strengths that are meant to be used for my glory. Do not hide these gifts or keep them to yourself. Use them to bless others, to build up my kingdom, and to make a difference in the world. You are my hands and feet, and through you I will accomplish great things. I have given you a heart of compassion, a heart that reflects my love for the world. Let that compassion lead you to serve others, to reach out to those in need, and to be a voice for the voiceless. When you see someone hurting, be the one who brings comfort. When you see someone in need, be the one who provides. In doing so, you are serving me, and you are fulfilling the greatest commandment to love your neighbor as yourself. Remember that the work I have called you to do is not just about what you accomplish, but about the love and grace you show along the way. The world is filled with people who are hurting, people who are lost, and people who are searching for something more. You have the answer, my child. You have the love of Christ within you, and it is this love that will change lives. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. The seeds you are planting now in faith and love will bear fruit in due season. Trust that I am working in ways you cannot see, and that your labor is not in vain. Continue to sow seeds of kindness, patience, and generosity, and watch as I bring forth a bountiful harvest. My child, I also call you to live a life of integrity. Let your words and actions reflect the truth of who you are in me. Be honest in all your dealings, and let your yes be yes, and your no be no. The world is watching, and your integrity is a testimony of your faith. When you walk in integrity, you honor me, and you set an example for others to follow. As you continue to grow in your relationship with me, I want you to be mindful of the voices you listen to. The world is full of noise, and not every voice speaks the truth. 
Be discerning and test everything against my word. Do not be swayed by the opinions of others, but stand firm in the truth of my word. My word is your foundation, and it will never lead you astray. Spend time in my presence, my child. In the busyness of life, it is easy to become distracted and to lose sight of what is most important. But I call you to come away with me, to find rest for your soul in my presence. It is in these moments of quiet that you will hear my voice most clearly, that you will find the peace and strength you need to continue on your journey. I also want you to know that you are never alone in your struggles. I see every tear, every moment of doubt, every time you feel like giving up. But I am with you, holding you close, and I will never let you go. When you feel weak, Remember that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. When you feel overwhelmed, remember that I am your refuge and your fortress, your ever-present help in times of trouble. Do not be afraid to bring your fears, your doubts, and your worries to me. I am your Father, and I care deeply for you. There is nothing too small or too big for me to handle. I am here to carry your burdens, to give you peace, and to guide you through every challenge you face. Trust in me, and you will find rest for your soul. As you continue on this journey, I want you to walk in the fullness of the joy I have given you. The joy of the Lord is your strength, and it is a joy that cannot be taken away by the circumstances of life. Let this joy fill your heart and let it overflow to those around you. In every situation, choose joy and let it be a testimony of your faith in me. You are my beloved child and I am proud of you. You are doing better than you think, and I am pleased with the progress you have made. Keep moving forward, keep trusting in me, and keep your eyes fixed on the prize. The best is yet to come, and I have great things in store for you. Go forth, my child, with my blessing upon you. Walk in the confidence of who you are in me and let my love guide you in all that you do. You are mine and I am yours now and forever. God is saying to you today, I know you have been struggling for a long time, financially, spiritually and emotionally. You have a good heart and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you lose your mind many times. You have been betrayed in many ways, yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not, I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemies. Hold on to your faith. The enemy wouldn't be fighting you if you weren't a threat. He wouldn't be trying to stop you if you weren't on the verge of something amazing. He knows you're about to step into a new level. He knows you're about to take new ground for your family. You're about to come into your promised land. You're about to see something you've never seen. God is saying to you today, 
I will bring you out of your darkest hour and use it to promote you. My child, come to me with great expectation, knowing that I am your God. I am bringing you out of frustration. I am bringing you out of limitation. I am bringing you into a place of fulfillment and favor like never before. The delay is over. Be encouraged and of good cheer in this season. I am your source. Trust in me that I am doing what you have asked me to do. Don't sit and feel guilty about wasted time and past mistakes. God always knew you would end up here, and he already had a plan to pull you out and lead you to your promised land. It's time to put it all away and chase Jesus. Seek his face and he will start letting you in on his plan. He will guide you right to your promised place and you will know he had it all along. First off, we know the importance of trusting God and letting go of resentment, worry, and fear to maintain good health. This leads right into the second biblical factor for good health. Confessing my sin is good for my health. Any psychologist will tell you this. It's good to clear your conscience and get things off your chest. Your body is not made to hold it in. When you hold guilt inside you, it's like shaking up a soda can with the top on. It will blow eventually. David says it this way in Psalm, When I refused to confess my sin, I was weak and miserable, and I groaned all day long. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide them, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. David internalized his guilt, and it physically affected his body. If you don't talk out your problems, your guilt, your bitterness with God, you're going to take it out on your body. Doctors say a lot of people could leave the 